we're going to get started here. So today what we're talking about is uh, creating a Facebook business page. And it's really important to get this one set up because this is the, how you can capture new leads. You can run advertising uh, to social media. Um, and you can keep your business and your personal life separate. So some of us use Facebook, we're on Facebook personally. Some of us are really not using Facebook, which is okay. Um, you do have to have an actual personal Facebook page to be able to create a business page from that. Um, because Facebook wants to make sure that you are a real person. Now, a lot of people right in the beginning think it's okay to run their real estate um, promotions and um, posts about their real estate business through their personal page. And in the beginning, you probably aren't going to run into any issues. However, Facebook does not want you using your personal page for business. So they will give you a warning um, to stop using it for professional use and suggest that you open up a, a business page. Um, and if you don't heed that warning, they will shut down your page. Uh, you will lose all your photos, any memories, things like that, that are associated with the Facebook page. So you don't want that to happen. Um, and also you can't run any paid monetary uh, advertising to a personal page. So uh, with that all being said, let's go ahead and show you guys how we can start a business page. Now, Facebook is always changing their layout, guys. So hopefully by the time you're looking at this video that it is still the same layout. Um, but I try to update them as, as fast as I see changes being made. So if we come on over to the right-hand side, we're just logged into Facebook. This is uh, kind of like your dashboard page or home page here. Um, if you have any pages already created, over here on the right-hand side, you'll see your pages. It's usually under a sponsored ad. Um, so you can see your pages here. Also here with the orange flag, it says pages. So if you click on pages, uh, any pages that you are associated with will come up here. And you can see my real estate page is here. Now, if you are new and you haven't started any pages, um, then I'm going to show you how to do that. But sometimes it's worth double checking to see because maybe at some point you started one um, or you have an old one that you can convert. Um, so check there for any uh, pages. All right, so now we're going to come over here. Uh, see this little um, menu option? This is like similar to the Google products. If you hit menu, um, now we have two pop-outs that come out here. Um, and again, you can access your pages, your groups, your friends, things like that on the left. But over here on the right is the create section. So it says create a post, a story, a room. But what we're looking for is right here, a page. Uh, before you can do an ad, you got to make sure there's a page. So we're going to click on page. And this is definitely different than, um, you know, previous. So on the left hand side, this is where we're going to do most of our data entry. And then you'll start to see a preview kind of in the center here. So page name, page information is where we're going to start. So uh, use the name of your business brand or organization or a name that explains the pa what the page is about. So this is where you're going to put your name with real estate. Um, you uh, can put with Keller Williams Real Estate. You can also utilize your branding. Um, so if you have a brand like um, uh, Katie Sells the Valley, all right. So something like that. Your savvy, your savvy realtor. Your um, your uh, one stop real estate shop you know, whatever that is, you can use branding or you can use your name. Now, the one thing you can't do is use your name exactly as it appears on your um, personal page. So that was here on your personal page. And I just want to show you why real quick here. Uh, I'm just going to cancel out and come back to this. Uh, let, uh, let's me. This will not be safe. Continue. Okay, so if I'm on my personal page, 
All right, this is my personal page. See right here how it just says Katie Joe Remmel. That's obviously my full name. So I cannot name my business page Katie Joe Remmel. All right, it has to have something else in there. So because this URL is already taken by myself. Okay, so just a FYI there. So I'm just going to come back in and come into the page. All right, so I'm going to do my va uh, my Katie sells the valley. Now the business page name can be changed down the road without it affecting um, losing followers or um, people not being able to see you anymore. So if you don't have the perfect name right off the bat, that's okay. Um, you just wanna make sure you put in something besides just your regular name as your other uh, page already has that. Now we have what's called the category. So. This is where we're going to start typing real estate, and you can see we can pick real estate. If you do it again, you can do real estate agent, real estate service. Um, you can add uh, up to three categories, all right? So if you only want to do one, that's fine. All right, now a description. This is character limited to 255 characters. So it's not meant for your full bio. All right, this is just a short description about what you do, what services you provide. So what I tend to tell people is follow this rule. Who you are, so that's me, Katie Jo Remmel, and I'm a realtor, not in real life, in, in fake world. <laughs> I don't need another hat. All right, Alto 174, there we go, realtor. Uh, and I'm gonna say I'm with Keller Williams. Real estate. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so who you are, what you do, and I help Oops, gosh, I am all over the place today. Helping clients buy, sell, and invest in real estate. Okay, uh, so that's who I am and what I do. All right, you can be as more as more uh, descriptive or less descriptive, however you want. All right, and then where do you do that? So. Um, servicing the Lehigh Valley, since I am saying my brand is Katie Sells Valley, and surrounding areas. Okay, so that is going to be my description. Who I am, what I do, and where I do that. All right, so you could do townships or counties or however. Um, and again, this is just a short version. We can add a longer, more, um, a larger bio later. Okay, so that is my page, Katie Sells the Valley Real Estate and my short description. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit create page. And you can see it's thinking. All right, so now, it looks like nothing changed, but I actually, it created the page for me and it added some extra questions down here or some extra areas down here. So now it's gonna come to our images. So pick a profile picture. So you're gonna hit add profile picture, and then you can pull in from your pictures. All right, I'm just gonna grab in a, uh, a picture. Now this could also be, your uh, company logo. So if you have a company logo that you like to use, you can use that. Um, just don't use the same exact picture um, as the one that you have for your personal. And I have one that says, oh, maybe I got rid of it. There I am. Okay, there we are. All right, so add your profile picture. All right, that's going to load up and then you can add a cover photo. All right, um, we can come down here, add cover photo. So that's the large photo that goes in the back. Now, you see if it's going to give us current dimensions. May not. The, the cover photo can be tricky. 
Um, try using an image that is one, uh, 1640 by 856. All right, it's best to always Google the size if you're creating a custom banner for back here or a custom cover photo, because one thing you're gonna see is that this is the way it looks currently on desktop. All right, and then if you switch on over to mobile, it looks different in the um, visibility of the um, actual picture is different. So if I hit add cover photo, I'm just gonna pull in like a landscape photo or here, we're gonna do the valley here. All right, obviously I'm gonna put in a branded photo, but you can see what it looks like here. Um, this is not a correct view. What actually happens is the sides get cut off. So basically this PPNL center would get cut off on the sides um, and you actually see uh, from top to bottom. Um, it's like taller than it is wider. I know that sounds really weird. Um, it's best to usually just Google it um, and they'll show you exactly. Um, what we mean. So like if I drag this up and down, I can move this up and down. So if I were to use this on the mobile, the sides are gonna be cut off um, and you'd be able to see this full bottom here and top. On a desktop, it's gonna be very narrow um, comparatively and longer. All right, so, there, and they always change it. So I always just suggest Googling it, what the current one is and look at the most current article. Pull that back down. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. All right, now this is new. This is a What's Up app pop up. Now, I believe Facebook must have bought, got, bought WhatsApp because they are pushing this super heavily. Um, so, connect your Facebook page to WhatsApp, get more messages, show people your number, create WhatsApp. Um, so, if you don't have WhatsApp, you can just skip this. Um, or if you're interested, you can hit send code and you can do that via WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is like an international calling um, application where you can create groups and um, speak with people overseas easier um, and connect different programs to the WhatsApp. So that's why um, that keeps popping up. But if you're not interested, you can X out. It says if you leave now, you won't be able to turn to run WhatsApp ads or add a WhatsApp button on your page. That's okay for me. I don't need it right now. I can hit leave. Okay, so here's my page. Hey Katie. Yes. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt no, it's okay. you. So I already have Joanna's Facebook. Well, she had someone set it up, but I've been running it. Would you say that, should I add the WhatsApp app after I do some research on it? I would, yeah. You it's would? super popular right now. Yeah, okay. it really is. Um, and it's just another revenue for you to be able to communicate with people um, because people are moving to the states from other places and states are people from the states are moving out of, you know, country. You still have the opportunity for referrals and things like that. Um, so, yeah, I would highly suggest that you get that. Okay, perfect. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no, it's okay. No, it's and it was it's been around for a really long time, but a lot of the um, social media platforms are really starting to integrate it more. Okay. Um, and like I said, I think Facebook must have bought it. And that's why it's yeah. like, really, <laughs> they're pretty adamant. Every time we go to hit save, you're going to see that pop up again uh, while we're um, putting this through. But yeah, I would yeah, definitely. I've never seen it on her page. Is it just if you create a new one or am I going to have to go in and it's usually when you create it, but when I'm going to show you when we can link other social media platforms, there is a spot to link it once you've like signed up. Um, and you can even like search Facebook for WhatsApp here and it'll, mm -hmm. you know, show you, but I would definitely just do a little research, make sure it's exactly, you know, what you guys want, yeah. which number you want to use, so on and so forth. But um, I think it's definitely worth it. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Okay, so it made our page here. Now we have a new uh, list. This is like your regular um, behind the scenes list of um, items that we can adjust on the page. So we have our home, news feeds, managed shop. We have an inbox for anybody messaging us, business apps. So 
that may have WhatsApp in it. You'll have to double check. Uh, but you can connect other business apps to your Facebook page now. Resources and tools. Okay. Um, and let me just come back here. Again, other business resources. Publishing tools, ad center. So once you start doing ads, um, insights on your page, who's looking at it, when are they looking at it? So you have now all of these new options compared to if you were just trying to run stuff on your personal page. You had no insights. You couldn't run ads. So you have all these new tools. All right, so I want you guys to come down here to edit page info. All right, and then we're going to complete our setup, okay? Um, and it, it even says reach more of your audience uh, by completing your page. All right. Now, if you hit get started, it's going to kind of just walk you through this, um, but I'm going to walk you through it, so it's no biggie. All right, so we have our name, Katie Sells the Valley. This can be changed um, without losing any followers, or people can find you. If you change your name, people can still find you um, by searching for your username. So the username is what sometimes we call a handle. Um, this is going to be something that you want to stay the same. This is another way for people to search for you. Um, so your username should be one that stays the same. So if you want to use your name, real estate, or your uh, business name, you can do that. Um, I'm going to do Katie Sells the Valley again. Sells the... No special characters can be in here. Um, and you can see it's uh, accepting my username. So this will always stay, but I can change this. So if people search still for Katie Sells the Valley, they'll find me. Um, but if I want to change this, like Katie Sells the Lehigh Valley, or um, Katie, your go-to Valley Realtor, you know, I can change that name as long as this one stays the same and people will still be able to find me. And the username here could probably be used then on your other social media uh, platforms like Instagram. So if I create an Instagram page and connect them, I want to use the same username, Katie Sells the Valley. Okay, keep it kind of cohesive. All right, we're going to come down. You see my categories are there. Here is my contact phone number. All right, and then they do have a option for a WhatsApp phone number. So this is going to be your cell phone number, then your email, your primary email, and your website. You want the full URL. So from HTTPS all the way out to um, dot .com. All right, so the whole URL goes in there. These are really, this is the most important part of your page, guys, because the whole reason for us to do this page is so people can find us and contact us. So don't skimp on this. Phone number, email, website, just do it. <laughs> location. Now, the location should be the office address. So you want to make sure you're using um, the office address. Uh, don't accidentally put your uh, personal home address in here. I know sometimes our computers think they're smart and they want to fill in stuff like this. Um, so make sure that this is not your personal address. We do not want people to know where you live, uh, where your home is. Okay. Then we have our service areas. So you can uh, type in, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Now, this has been a little bit finicky. So I would suggest that you type in cities, okay? So type in cities. Now I know it says neighborhood, region, different things like that. Um, it doesn't really like counties either. So um, let's see if it will take the, the county now. No. So it doesn't like counties either. So I would stick with cities in this service area. And obviously you can put as many uh, cities as you want if you spell them correctly. <laughs> All right, Bethlehem. And then you can just put in your different cities that you service. This is important so that when people are looking for real estate, right? Real estate, real estate agent, real estate service, in 
Allentown, Bethlehem, or wherever, they could just look for real estate Allentown. And I'll come up in their search because I put these both in here. I am in real estate as my category and I service Allentown. So that's why those are important. Hours, no hours available, always open, permanently closed or open on selected hours. So this is uh, the most popular one. Um, so if we do open on selected hours, this will say that the uh, that you are currently closed or open um, and you wanna go ahead and put your hours in here. So say we're gonna say 9 a.m. I suggest you can, uh, you type in the first number and then anything with the nines will come up. So we'll have 9 a.m. And when do I close? I close at 7 p.m. Okay, now you're gonna go on to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so on and so forth. Um, the plus sign here, guys, that is to add an extra time for that particular day. So, you know, like some restaurants will close in the afternoon and then reopen for dinner. That's what that's kind of for. So you don't really need to use these. Um, but if you do choose open on selected hours, you got to put in something here um, for each one of these. All right. So just type the first number and then you can go through and put in those days and times. And then when they look you up online, it'll say that you're open or closed. Now, does that mean that they can, uh, they can't contact you when you're, you're saying you're closed? No, you know, your messenger works, everything still works. It's just suggested hours, really. All right, so Saturday, I'm gonna put 10, all right, to five instead, and Sunday, uh, I can put close, all right? No, nothing there. All right, so that are, is my hours. I'm closed on Sunday, shortened hours on Saturday. Um, you know, this could be 10 to three, 11 to three, wherever you do your open houses, you know, things like that. Temporary service changes. These are were really heavily used during COVID um, or for vacations, but we don't really need to use that. We come on down. And we have price range. We're gonna keep that unspecified. And then right down here is where we also have other apps. Sorry, I'm just moving Zoom out of my way. Uh, other accounts. All right, so this is where you're gonna put your username from those other accounts. Um, so not the full URL, just whatever your username is. And that's similarly to how we talked up top here, the username or your handle. All right, so we have Instagram, that's going to be your primary. Uh, then we have Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube is going to be great for your um, videos that you guys are putting online. And you can see WhatsApp is also in here, um, Pinterest, uh, and then there's a bunch that I don't even know. I don't know what Oculus and OK and VK are, but you know, we'll learn something every day. Oh, you can also put your Spotify playlist in here, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so uh, connect your Spotify for your playlist shares. <laughs> All right, so that's your basic information, guys. You want this as complete as possible. You don't want to not put in data in here, otherwise, you're not going to be as visible, okay? And people are going to uh, not get the correct information from you. So that is your page info, uh, and it can be edited at any time. So if you change your hours, you change your phone number, you change whatever, um, it can be edited. All right, so that is your page info. We come on back home. You can see that this WhatsApp is popping up again. All right, um, so now we can uh, come down here to the about. You can see that this is gonna be where your page info is housed, okay? Um, you can also re-edit the headshot and the cover photo, all right? So if I hit the little uh, camera button, edit profile picture, and then I can choose upload or I can choose from pictures that were already uploaded, okay? Um, same thing here, choose from photos 
uh, which would be photos already online um, or upload photo. You can also just hit reposition and move. So if you want to hit reposition, you can, you know, move it around. Um, I suggest doing a branded photo. So um, something that has your contact information on, uh, your logo, um, something like that and kind of where maybe you service or the types of properties that you service. So if you're getting into luxury or farm and ranch, something like that, you know, make it aesthetically uh, matching and pleasing to, you know, what your end goal is. So I'm selling the valley. So I've got, you know, the valley here. So, okay. So basically once your, your info is there, you are ready to um, start asking people to like your page. Um, so if we go ahead and we hit, uh, now this is where they moved it again, the three dots. <laughs> hit the three dots here under add a button. You can invite friends. All right, so hit invite friends. Now, Facebook uh, put a new rule into play. You cannot uh, ask friends to like your page in a bundle. All right. So I can't choose all my friends and have 887 people get a message that says, can you like Katie sells the Valley? They took that away. Um, so you can go in and you can manually just choose which people you like and you want to, um, like your page. I would suggest everybody personally, cause uh, there's no reason not to, <laughs> uh, unless you have other like real estate friends you don't want to, but they'll like your page. It'll get you more visibility. There's no reason not to. Now there is a trick here, guys. Um, there's actually, if we go ahead and we Google bulk invite friends on Facebook. Okay, uh, my friends on uh, friends to business page, business page on Facebook. All right, so they um, came up with a, oh my gosh, I'm losing it now. There is a plugin that you can actually um, get to be able to bulk invite people to um, like your page because it, it they did take it away. See, these are old videos, 2012, 2016. Um, what we want is the um, bulk invite friends to business. I think it's through Chrome. Let me just double check here. Invite all friends on Facebook for Facebook. Okay. So Chrome Web Store has a extension that you can add to Chrome. And this allows you to bulk add people. Um, otherwise, you are manually inviting people one at a time. So um, that's no fun. So Chrome, invite all friends for Facebook. So I would just download that. It's from Chrome. You know it's safe. Um, and then you're able to uh, bulk add those people to your invite your friends list. Okay. Otherwise, you're manually just going to choose one by one or searching right here. Now, technically, at this moment, even though I haven't invited anybody, my page is actually live. People could find it if somebody searched right now here, Kitty Sells the Valley. Now, if you want to hold off and you want to work on this page, you want to get some photos, maybe you even want to create a few posts, right? Um, so that way it doesn't look like a blank page. You can do that, all right? So if we come on over here down to settings, the very first item that's up here at the top, it says page visibility. So right now, currently the page is published. So like I said, if somebody was in Facebook and they search for Katie Sells the Valley, they're going to find my page. But if I don't want them to yet, um, I can hit edit here on this page publish and hit page unpublish. 
and hit Save Changes. Now it's going to ask you why are you unpublishing this page, um, and I'm going to keep it as is. the The page isn't finished yet. All right, so go ahead and hit Next. Uh, what do you need to finish your page? I'm just going to say additional content. All right, and then hit Unpublish and hit Close. Okay, so now my uh, page is going to be if I come over and I refresh this real quick, is going to be unpublished. Okay. And then I can come back and I can publish that page later if I want to. All right. Um, so that is an option for you. Um, come in, you can do some more um, rearranging, adding of content. Uh, and then you can come here, see it says page unpublished. I can hit edit and come back in and publish the page when I'm ready. Um, Joyce, uh, I will have this one up on YouTube. Um, if you go to YouTube and you just put my name in, you'll be able to find this video recording since there are some new changes in the layout of Facebook. So. Right, so that's how you can unpublish it and then publish it again when you are ready. You can do that at any given time as well. You can unpublish and publish. All right, you can also come to the very bottom and right here it says remove page. All right, so delete this page. So you can, let me just move again this little Zoom guy permanently delete this page. Now, if you permanent del permanently delete it, there's no bringing it back, all right? But some of us, you know, when practicing or playing around, we may have created one. Um, or if we were with a previous brokerage and we don't want that seen anymore and we want it gone, out of sight, out of mind, we can remove that page. If you just want it removed from the public's eye, do an unpublish, but if you just don't need it anymore at all, you can hit delete, especially if it was like a practice page, okay? So remove option, but be careful. That will delete it forever and always. <laughs> no bringing that one back. Unpublish means that it's still in your account, still accessible, um, and you could bring it back into action. It's almost like archiving it, we'll call it. All right, so that's the two different ways that we can um, set our visibility. All right, I'm going to come back to uh, my home page here. Uh, just click uh, Katie Sells the Valley up top here. Now I'm back home. All right, you can see this page is invisible. You can publish it when you're ready for people to see it. All right, there's an easy publish button. The other thing I want to add uh, before I am ready to launch my page is right here is a button. So you have an option to add a button at any given time. And that button, if I hit add a button, it's just like an easy access, right? So I can choose from all of these different actionable items. So uh, people can follow me, they can um, call, now, contact, send message, send WhatsApp message, send email, learn more, sign up, um, use app. We don't really need play game, shop on website. We don't really need any of those. Okay, so the most popular ones are call now, contact us, send message, or use app. All right, so those are the most popular. Now, my prerogative is, all right, I'm just going to come out of here, is when somebody is looking at your page. Now, I'm in the editing view, but when somebody's looking at your page, this about section is right up here. All right, where the right now it says set your page success. And in the about, you can see. I will have a clickable website, a clickable phone number, a clickable messenger, a clickable email. All of this is clickable. All right. So I don't personally, I do not um, want to repeat that button with a contact me. Right. So I'm going to use that button for app purposes since there was no other place for me to put my link to my app. 
So I'm going to hit add a button. All right, and I'm going to come down to use app. And it says, where can people download your app? And it's going to ask for the website. This is where you guys are going to put in your personal URL for your app. Now, if you are unsure where to find your personal URL, that's going to be inside of command. You don't want to put the regular KW app URL. You want the personal one so that when people download it, they are automatically connected to you um, inside of the app. And that is then connected to your command. Uh, so you can lead capture, you can view timelines, you can see kind of what they're doing in there. Um, so if you come on over into command, all right, sorry, I thought I had it open already. <laughs> And we come down to the last icon on the left on the legend. This is going to be consumer. We're going to click on consumer. All right. And we're going to come on over to site and app settings. So inside of the digital consumer spaces, uh, there is the setting. And then your first tab is general. We want the second tab URLs. So if I click on that, this is where your uh, page, your website domain is. So this is my website domain. All right. And then right below that is going to be your mobile app URL. Now I am not an agent, so I personally do not have one. However, you're going to have a second line here that says um, that you are, uh, has your personal URL and has even has a nice little copy button. All right, so you're going to hit that copy button and you're going to come back on over here and you're going to paste that inside of here. Um, let me see. I think I might have. Nope, of course. Um, I had one saved, but you're going to throw that URL in there. You want the entire thing from HTTP all the way out to the end of your special code. And then when you do that, um, let me just... Let me, let me just put a URL in there, see if it'll take this real quick. All right, when you put that in there, your button now says, we'll say use app instead of edit, obviously. So use app, when they click on that, they're going to go to your specific landing page and uh, they'll be able to download the app, whether they're using uh, an Apple from the iTunes store or uh, Android from the Google Play store. Okay, so I like that for using app, but obviously we can edit this and we can use any of these. You know, contact us is a website, um, call now, phone number, all right, so whatever you want that button to be, you can you have a lot of options now. Uh, the next question is, how do I get more buttons? <laughs> now, in the regular version, then you can't get any more buttons. Um, there are some developer tools uh, that you may be able to get an extra button, um, but that is something that you would have to, uh, you know, do on your own. It's not something that Facebook provides. It's like a service. Okay, to get any extra buttons. So we are just going to use what's given to us for free because <laughs> free is for me, right? <laughs> so here is um, my page. I can publish it at any given time. Also, you're going to see as you were updating your cover photo, adding your profile picture, um, it made uh, these posts. All right, now if you don't want those posts on there, you can remove the post, all right? So hide from page. So if you hit the three dots, the ellipsis here on the post, you can hit hide from page, all right? That way, I mean, it's not just filled with, you know, stuff that you're doing. You can um, delete post here, hide from page. Okay, so you can remove those. That way uh, you don't have those as your only post. But I would suggest putting a couple posts up uh, before you invite people uh, just to put something like some sort of content. Maybe share your website 
as one of the posts, um, share your uh, mobile app as one of the posts, some branded content stuff uh, before you send it. That way when people go to hit scroll, they're not just seeing that you updated your profile picture and your cover photo. They have something to actually look at or a reason to come over and actually um, like your page. A bio would be really good too, like a little graphic with their bio on there. Um, that would be nice. So, and you are really ready to rock and roll after this is, is live and you've invited friends. You can now connect this inside of your command and you can start running advertising to it. So I just wanted to show you uh, once this is up, this is my URL, Katie Sells the Valley, right? Um, I can come on over to my command. All right, I'm just going to come back home. If I'm here in command, I could connect uh, my Facebook page inside of my settings. So if I hit the drop down and I come on over to settings, there's going to be two spots for me to connect um, my Facebook. So the first spot is Facebook social uh, post scheduling. All right, and then Facebook ads manager. Um, when you go to connect, now you can see mine are already connected. When you go to connect, um, you are going to use your personal Facebook login. So it's going to say, you see it says Katie Joe Remmel, not my business page, Katie Sells the Valley or my other one that's actually live. So you will be signing in as your personal Facebook, but just remember that no, none of these programs can work with your personal Facebook. It actually will pop up the different pages that you are an active member or admin on. So if you've created that page or you're an admin on a business page, maybe on a team or something like that, it's going to display all those pages and then you choose which page you want post scheduling to go to or uh, ads to go to. So um, it's not like it's going to accidentally post this on your personal page. There isn't, you can't do advertising to a personal page. So um, don't fret, allow them to um, connect here. And then you just pick the page that you just created. And then this way we can create Facebook advertising and post scheduling inside of commands and it will automatically go onto your page and then you can run all your analytics and lead follow up and stuff from here inside of command. So very important. Again, that was found in your settings section drop down next to your name and you'll have to do it for both pieces. All right. Now, when you connect the first one and it says connected and then you go to connect the second one, this will say just connect. It'll read that you just logged in up here and it will connect the other one for you without having to log in again. So, um, but make sure once it's live, it's connected. Now, if it's not published, you're not going to be able to see it in the list. So it has to be published before you do the connection. Okay. So make sure that this published page is on so that um, it can read that that page is a live page. Okay, so that is uh, setting up your Facebook business page, um, creating and starting that. Uh, we'll get more into, you know, types of things that we can post on these pages uh, in our classes later this week. Uh, different post scheduling, campaigning, um, and some follow up to that as well. But now you have a page, you're legit. Uh, the real estate police aren't coming for you and uh, the Facebook police aren't coming for you. <laughs> and you can now, you know, do your advertising. Now, one rule, one trick uh, or a best practice I like to use, whenever you guys are posting to your business page, right? So say I wanted to um, share a property from my website, like a new listing, something like that. Let me just grab one here real quick. Uh, let's grab a property real quick. Oh, I have a bunch of filters on here. We're just going to do it. Uh, uh, oh, come on. Allentown. 
All right, let me just grab a property real quick. All right, so say this is my listing or a property that I just want to share on social media because it's a cool property. Robin Hood Drive, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to copy this URL up top here, right? And I'm going to come on over into my Facebook and I'm going to paste something here. It's going to give me a preview. Um, you can also remove this URL now and you can type in whatever you want here. So if I just remove that, um, check it up. Oh. I don't know what that is. Oh. Check it out. All right, if I hit post, now this isn't a live page, so nobody's gonna see this. So here's my post. What I can do now is I can share it and I can, because it's not live, it's not giving me all the options, but I can share this now to my personal page. All right, so you can share it to your personal page. Um, so then people on your personal page will be able to see it. Um, however, uh, it originated here from your business page. It's also a really great way to get people who are your friends to like your business page. So always originate the content here on your business page and then share uh, to your personal page. Okay, that's allowed because you can share any business stuff uh, to a personal page, as long as the content originated on the um, business page itself. Okay, so that's it to, for today for getting started and creating your business page on Facebook. Um, if you have any questions, especially maybe about marketing, um, what is legal, you can always, uh, you know, drop me a line, I can let you know. Uh, there are some marketing rules and some standards that you still have to apply to social media, um, making sure, you know, the wherever your cell phone number is, the office phone number is of equal size. We're using the Keller Williams real estate logos, um, you know, different things like that. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, we also have some of those marketing rules on your marketing websites for your office. So you can check that out under, I think it is Essentials uh, Resources. So, uh, and then tomorrow we're gonna get into uh, our uh, designs section. To, so creating social posts, uh, create just listed and just sold Facebook and Instagram posts. So we're gonna start creating some imagery to post alongside of links to properties so that you can promote properties, uh, relay information and designs inside a command is a wonderful tool to you to do that in, especially because they have tons of templates for you to use and you don't have to uh, start everything from scratch. All right, do we have any questions before we end today on the creation of your Facebook page? Nope. All right. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, and you can always connect with me on social media or on YouTube uh, or shoot me an email. All right. Take care, guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place, same link for all my classes. All right. Bye.